This is another form of pest control. Um, see all the chooks here, the um, cucumbers. There, this is burdock, I think it is, but see all the um, Japanese beetles are attracted to it, to where you can just go to this plant and take them all off by hand. And that way, you know, they're leaving your other plants alone and going right to a target plant to make it easy for you to catch them. Here's a close-up. If you take a look at the trap plant this morning, there's not many left. What's good about the curly dock here with it attracting, um, let's see if that's focusing, the Japanese beetles to it. You know, you can come out every morning and know, you know, exactly where to go to, you know, pull them off. And in the meantime, you know, the Australian chooks are doing fine. They have a few nibbles here and there, but nothing compared to the dock plant. This plant, you know, I called it burdock earlier. We do have a burdock in the yard somewhere. It's a really big leaf, but um, I don't know where one is offhand. If I find one, I'll add it in. But, this plant is actually edible. It's in the buckwheat family, and um, you know, it's kind of like wild dock. You know, there's a possible. Let me see if I can find one and pull up a root. Okay, here's the smaller version of it restarting. Let's see if I can get the root out. I guess I'd have to dig it out. It's kind of like a carrot root. It's long and deep. Let's go over here to this one and see if the smaller one can come out any easier. Nope. Ah. Broke that one off too. Nope. I guess I have to get a shovel. Okay, I got the shovel and started digging it out. And you can kind of see it looks like a yellow carrot or off yellow carrot. You know, this is, you know, in the olden days or, you know, all over the world, you know, this is used, you know, for natural medicine, you know, like a stomach um, detoxifier, you know, things like that. But I'm not going to, um, you know, get into herbal medicine. But, um, you know, it's up to you if you decide to eat any wild plants. You know, this would also be called wild buckwheat, you know, or wild dock, you know, or curly dock. But, um, do research, and when, you know, like my grandparents, my dad, you know, was raised on, you know, things like yellow root and ginseng, and you name it. Look at that worm sticking his head out there. Did you see that? You know, nature at work again. There's a small one. But, um, you know, living in the modern world, we're not used to old world ways. And for some people, the doc is um, registered as a pollen um, allergen. You know, like grass can be an allergen. And then you never know how you're going to react to something like that. It's also, I've read that animals, you know, cows and chickens shouldn't eat this either. So you know, pros and cons with everything, so as a disclaimer, you know, um, do your homework and don't rely on others to say it's safe.